What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel where I talk about all things with my model life, my model journey. I share beauty and health tips and I also talk about adulting. So if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. And if you're already a subscriber, then welcome back. So in this video, I will be talking about like looking back at my old model pictures when I first started modeling and just looking at the growth because um, I took these pictures back in like 2010, so like 10 years ago. And now I was just like, I ran across them the other day and I'm just like, wow, like thank God for growth because these pictures, yeah. So just to give a little background on these pictures. So back when I was in high school, you know how like you have like the companies um, that will be in the mall and they'll just be like, oh, do you want to um, be a model and stuff like that? Like, look, they basically kind of like little scams, I believe, but um, that's just my opinion because nothing came from this. They wanted me to pay them. Like, this was like my first modeling experience that I realized like, okay, this is not legit. Um, but you know, you have to live and you learn. So anyways, they were like, oh yeah, just pay like a thousand some dollars. We'll get like your portfolio together. We'll get, um, take all these pictures of your hair, makeup, all that. It all sounded good. And it was like, you know, we'll push you on our website and then we'll take a percentage off of the jobs that you get. I never got any jobs from that, first of all. And I don't even know what happened to that company. So anyway, so yeah, so I was just on Facebook and I was looking at my old pictures and I was just like, ooh. Anyway, so. I did um, three different looks, and so with the first look, I kind of had this floral shirt, these black jeans, you'll see, and I was, I thought I was cute. I had my hair done, my makeup was done, so I thought everything was looking right and good. So in this first picture, I was like, you know, okay, girl, like, you know, my outfit was looking right, you know, everything was looking good. I was, you know, I thought I was cute. And so with the next look that I did like this, I really loved this one because like my hair was all blowing in the wind and stuff. They had the wind, they had the fan on. So I was like, ooh, okay. So, you know, I'm just going back and I'm looking at these photos and I'm just like, okay, but this is like my first modeling experience ever. So, you know, two years ago to now, I think, yeah, growth. And so, um, yeah, these pictures are just like, sis, like, you know, I think they're really good for, you know, to be like my first model pictures in 2010, but you know, okay. And yeah, I loved all the ones that had like my hair blowing and I like my little outfit and I feel good because I picked out everything. And this one, I really didn't like like that because I don't know like the whole angles and I don't I don't think my photographer really like either had experience or just didn't give me no guidance because I was not I'm coming up with all these posts myself so I'm like 16 and I'm just like look like no and then like with the editing I feel like you could see like I, I had acne and stuff so I'm like y'all can't edit that out you know and so for my next look I don't know how they like came together with this outfit, but it was very interesting, like from my hair to my shoes. So I started off doing like, um, they used a fake bun to do it. And I think my hair, my regular hair was just flipped back. Um, so you could kind of like tell, you couldn't really tell a little bit, but yeah, so the bun was literally like right here on my forehead. So I was just like, I don't know about this, but it was just like, oh, it's cute, you know, let's just do these black and white photos. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I had this little black jacket too, and I, just, I didn't have anything under it, and I just had on some boots. And I guess like, you know, they were like, oh yeah, this is, this is good, this is fashion. I'm like, all right, like, I don't think the outfit look all that together. So I'm just up here posing, and yeah, this is, how it looks and honestly I have no words <laughs> and for this one I thought it was like real I thought this was like my favorite one because I'm like oh this is like real um 
like this is what I see models do. I'm gonna try to do some poses like this. But it was still, I just was not feeling that bun on my forehead like that. I was like, dang, like I'm, I'm really not liking this, but you know. So I think even like with the angles and the, the way I have my legs in this picture, everything was just awkward to me. So I was like, sis, like, you know, that wasn't it, that wasn't it. And definitely for the up close ones too, it, was, it just really made me emphasize how much I hated that bun. Like, British, it's just sitting right there on my forehead and I'm just leaning over and I don't think I like my makeup like looking back at these pictures I'm like my makeup was not done good like back then I thought it was done good I had you know because I had no experience or no nothing but now looking back I'm just like oh they could have did a little they could have did a lot better like I don't even think they touched my eyebrows like, I'm looking at these pictures right now like no so these were a couple from you know the black and white shoot that i didn't like but these next pictures y'all when i tell y'all everybody was like talking about me and i was getting called names like when i post them on facebook it's like oh my gosh like do you do these pictures are like i don't even want to say because it, it sounds bad but it was like oh my gosh it just reminds me of slavery and I had to look at myself like, ugh, this is like from, it kind of gives like the vintage 1900 vibes. So, I mean, she'll see, like I wasn't feeling the fit at all. Like these weren't even my clothes that I had on this look. And it was just a little awkward to me. Like I had on this little white, white dress, the little black emblem, whatever. And this little flower hat and I'm just like I hated my hair so like this whole picture like this pose like this background I don't know what they were thinking I guess they thought it was good I guess really they was just trying to get their money and wasn't really trying to help me like that so yeah but nah this picture right here no like I cannot stand this look and even going to this look right here no, nah, like they could have gave me some better directions like of what I should do with my hand and then how they had that hat you know tilted off to the side like that like they know they could have gave me some more guidance and so I could you know look a little bit better instead of just over here looking hurt and oh uh, yeah and the way they did my hair they kind of just like picked it out so it kind of had the um kind of had like the a, a little rough look to it and then they had me on this gold shimmer lipstick I was really not feeling that at all and so my legs just look awkward my hands look awkward my face looks awkward I just was not feeling this at all so going back to my pictures from 2010 this was my first photo shoot that I've ever done and you know we all learn our lessons because back then I was just like, oh, okay, you know, I was looking at like when I used to want to model, that was like the caption for my pictures. And I'm like, okay, like, I think after that, when I didn't get, when nothing came from that, I kind of like got discouraged a little bit. And I was just like, you know what, I don't even know if I can do this modeling thing. Like, you know, I started to have self-doubt and things like that. But then I was like, you know what, like, um after i did like this was in 2010 so after i did the shoot the next time i think i shot was i honestly don't even know like the time after that even going back to like pictures i would post like on twitter and facebook like this right here this picture right here used to be my favorite one i was like oh yes like i was in my mom room I had the black and white on my hair was all long I was like yes this like you look good you know so that was my Facebook profile picture for a minute and the caption <laughs> this funny the caption is new model type pic so yes these comments are hilarious I don't know what was up with me in black and white but like I, I apparently I was like, obsessed with that and I don't really like black and white pictures now so I guess like that's kind of why but nah like looking at this picture this was in 2011 so I was like oh okay you know I'm on my model I'm on my model ish and like girl I had my hair natural curly I had I don't know how I took this picture honestly probably just for my phone and I just had it up probably at the school one day in my living room and that was 
that. And you can tell me nothing because I thought I was cute all the way. Like, but just to show some of my model pictures, like when I first realized, like I wanted to, like maybe I can do this modeling thing, but I didn't take it serious. Even for this picture right here, like I remember I used to want to be thick so bad when I was younger. I used to go, ooh, I want to be thick, blah, blah. And honestly, no, like I'm not meant to be thick. And like this picture, I was cute. Like you can tell me nothing. I remember I had got this shirt from Metro Park. Do y'all do y'all really remember Metro Park? Like Metro Park had the Mac denim. They had the True Religion. They had other hella cute clothes. Um, but yeah, in this picture, I was like, I had just got home from school. I was like, okay, okay, sis, looking cute. You know, but as I just go back and I look at all these pictures, I'm just like, wow, like, yes, I'm glad, like, you know, I actually, the people when I was younger, people used to be like, oh, you like a model, maybe you should model, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, thank, cool, thank you. Um, I appreciate that, but I never, like, really took it serious. Like, honestly, when people ask me, like, how long have I been modeling, I would say, like, five years on and off, but not really 100% serious until last year. Last year, I made up my mind. I was just like, you know what? I need to take this modeling thing seriously, especially, like, coming off Instagram, like, looking at Instagram and looking at these girls, these Instagram models, and looking at actually real models, and I'm like, you know what? Why can't I definitely be you know a real model so that's when I actually started like putting in the effort to take it more seriously I made my Instagram page look more like you know a professional model or you know you could tell that I'm definitely into modeling for my Instagram so yeah I just took those steps and honestly thinking back I did that shoot in 2010 the last time I did like an official shoot from that was 2015 so it was a five-year difference and so all these pictures that I post are like from 2015 until now and so just looking at my growth over time like really shows me a lot like okay cool I'm learning like certain angles I'm learning like how I look I'm learning how to pose I'm learning how to walk when it's time for one way and I'm learning you know what size you know what size look good and everything like that so it's really just a process and I'm really just learning as I go and that's what my goal is to honestly just share my journey and what I've experienced and you know possibly help other models that are in my same position that you know eventually do want to get signed eventually do want to take this seriously so yeah stop watching this video I hope you enjoyed it you know thank God for growth again like I said um, and not only speaking about growth on my pictures, speaking about growth, you know, my YouTube channel and growing my subscribers. So I also want to announce that I am having a giveaway, my first giveaway ever. I announced this on my Instagram yesterday. And so I wanted to have like an incentive um, basically to my subscribers and everything just because I really appreciate like the support. And but I do, you know, we all want to grow, right? So my next goal is 500 subscribers. Currently, I think I'm at like 300 something, 301, 302. So basically, um, to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, subscribe to my channel. Um, number two, comment below. And let me know like you subscribe, and also follow me on Instagram um, at naturally hey, and all that will be linked below. So yeah, when you follow me on Instagram, you can DM me and say, hey, um, you know, I'm subscribed to your YouTube channel and, you know, I'm entering the giveaway or whatever. So I'm going to keep up with everything. And so for the prize, for the prize, um, yeah, I had a hard time trying to figure out what would be a good incentive um, for a prize. So I am going to give away one express outfit. So express has a express of women and express men and this top this bodysuit actually came from express but yeah I'm giving away an express outfit so um whether if, if you want something on sale where there is something right for price you can just let me know um hey I see this on the express website I want to get um this top and this bottom this is for men and women so so yeah that's what the prize is I hope that that giveaway is pretty 
you know, it's a pretty good giveaway. Like an, ex an outfit from Express. Express makes really good clothes. And no, this video is not sponsored by Express, but I just, I wear their clothes and I am an Express ambassador. So I'm like, why not just give away some clothes that I really like and hope that other people really like them too. So yeah, that is the giveaway. The giveaway is going on up until I hit 500 subscribers. Hopefully I can hit that by, you know, summertime I don't know I don't know when I'm gonna hit it but I just know it's coming and when it comes I'm gonna announce the giveaway and yeah so I really hope that you know you can share this video you can tell people to enter and you never know I may do another giveaway for a thousand subscribers and that may be an even bigger giveaway so yes so yeah thank you all for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure that um, you follow me on Instagram and make sure you comment just so I can know you're entering a giveaway. Thanks for tuning in with your girl. See you in my next video. Bye.